Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I forgot to film an introduction to this video, so I'm doing it now, coming back to the future to let you guys know what's going on in this video. So it is now real time. We are, I'm trying to catch up and catch you guys up on what's been going on in my life. And I actually have been going in order. So if you are watching my videos one after another, which I recommend that you do, you can see what's been going on and what is up to date in the Girl Boss Beauty world. With that being said, we are quarantining. Quarantining Chronicles have started now. And I thought I needed to redo my outdoor space because I have no real outdoor space. I sold the house, I live in an apartment, and I have a very small patio, so a very small footprint to work with in terms of outdoor space since I'm quarantining by myself and my dog every day. So I ordered furniture from Bed Bath & Beyond. They had a sale, the set was like $400. They put it on sale for $300. I used the coupon and got it for $239. And now you're gonna see when the furniture arrives and how I actually redecorate and redesign my entire outdoor space. If you love this type of content, please let me know because I actually love interior decorating and I would show more on my channel, but I don't know if you guys are interested, so you gotta let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I hope you guys are staying home, washing your hands, let's flatten the curve, and let's do our part to save lives. We can do it, we're in it together. The patio furniture has arrived and the box is heavily damaged, like holes sticking out, entire pieces of furniture sticking out. I can already tell it's arrived damaged. This is what it looks like. Um, the box was clearly labeled handle with care and no care like zero care was given it does look nice it looks sturdy so i'll just take it out and um take the pieces out and then call bed bath and beyond and see what they will do about the damage because i mean it's damaged right off the jump so uh, so horribly unnecessary I'm so like irritated that it arrived in such shambles like it and I don't even blame the people who packed it because it was actually packed really well it was easy to get out of the box and all the pieces seem legit but there's nothing like reinforcing the corners of the box or any parts of the box and so where the legs would stick out they just protruded out of the box. And whoever was responsible for taking care of the box just gave zero, zero Fs, like none. So, um, but what I'm gonna show you right now is what my patio looks like before. And I also have to get the old furniture out and do all of this. So um, let's do that now. So at the back of the living room, I have this door and the blinds did come with this and then this is the mat that they gave us when I moved in and it's just this is it <laughs> so it's about eight feet wide and maybe five feet um eight feet long and five feet wide and i have this furniture it is cracked now from the sun so i have to throw it away but even when i bought it like i didn't buy it it was actually free but see how it was not stable or anything this is a tv tray i keep there to eat out here because i didn't have a table and then i just have a fire pit that I've never, ever, ever, ever used, ever. 
there are a couple items in that storage closet but i could totally block it and never have to go out there but i just want this patio to look as good as i feel like my interior looks so i'm gonna take a good before shot and now i'm gonna call bed bath and beyond Okay, I put one chair and the table together. I put it where I want it to go. And you guys, I absolutely love the set. I absolutely love it. And I love that the ottomans, the footstools, they just hang out under the chair. So I have more stuff coming. This is just the first delivery, but I'm excited about where this is going and how comfortable it's going to be. These are my quarantine quarters up in here. <laughs> I came in. I took off my shoes. I took the box to the trash. I took the chair that was outside to the trash. Walked the dog. Came in. Took my shoes off. And totally forgot that this entire lounge chair was just chilling in the living room so i gotta take this out now and uh yeah i'll be done for the day i actually have an 8 p.m conference call to hop on so it's about 7 15 now so i did all of this in perfect timing happy Friday you guys I am adding a few pieces from inside the house that I haven't really been using outside on the patio I'll show you what I added already and what I'm thinking about adding I also got a notification that my rug is coming it started shipping yesterday and it'll be here on Sunday so I feel like it's gonna look so great so let me show you what I've added already say hi puppy Excuse me. Thank you. So I added this yellow and white throw. This has just been in my linen closet. I don't even use it because I don't have a room to match it anymore. So I think I'll just keep this out here. And Prince Mighty loves blankets. So of course he's going to be on it all the time. I did move the broken chair out here. Um, and it's just sitting on the base as you can see, but they have not shipped the new base yet I also added this little speaker that I got for free It's Bluetooth enabled with my phone So I'll just play music out here with my phone and that speaker and then I added these little glasses That I got for a New Year's Eve party and I thought they were really cute and small for the table and this little throw pillow was on my sofa, but it's already stained. <laughs> and it's like not in the best condition. So it could definitely become just like an outside chair. So this is what it's looking like. And so I'm thinking, I'm hoping this rug complements these kind of citrine colors that I'm adding and then I'm thinking of adding this vase out there it was in my office but I don't really it doesn't match my office anymore so I already have it filled with sticks and like little rustic things I think it'll be perfect so let's add this out there and see how this is looking Excuse me, puppy. So I'm going to add it in between. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that's perfect. This is looking so good. So yeah, now I think I just need the rug. And um, we are coming along. Yes. You guys, this one has definitely already claimed his chair. Uh, yeah, and he's like sitting in the broken chair. So cute, puppy. So cute. So yeah, I think he approves. I am too. So yeah, I'm liking this color scheme, but I'm going to try out a couple more and see what they look like. I'm already enjoying the setup. I don't even have my rug. I don't even know if this is what it's going to stay like, but Prince and I are enjoying it. Look at my baby. He definitely loves this. It is perfect for us, you guys. It is perfect. And it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. We're about to get a lot of rain and a lot of storms. But this is why we are setting up our patio because we have a great view um, in Houston. Love it. Hi guys, welcome back. It is Saturday and so I picked up a couple other things, found a couple other things in the house that I think I can switch out on the patio and I found this beautiful gold vase under my kitchen sink and I'm thinking this would go with the glasses that I already have out there and it may go with the rug better than the lime green. So I have this and then if I want to take out the yellow and white throw blanket which I really do love with that blue and the wicker but if I want it more neutral I also have this blanket that I'm not using it was an undergraduate um, graduation gift from a friend of my mom's and I don't really use it but it's really cute it's like Dior color scheme to me so like if it's like this and it has my name on it although it's misspelled but <laughs> it does have my name on it there so um yeah i think that those are some options the rug is supposed to come tomorrow sunday so i'll just try to figure out the color scheme once i have that rug down because i think it will make all the difference and i did a target run today for some other things in the house and i'll show you what i got One other appliance that I recently picked up was a humidifier. It's a cool mist humidifier. I got this from Target, and then today I got some more distilled water for it. I really like this. I like the amount of steam that this produces. It is a little cumbersome cleaning it and replacing it, and I'm actually on the hunt for white distilled vinegar like we're all out in the city of Houston. I think people are using it to clean, which we should, but I mean, it's really, really hard to find. And so I am not able to clean it right now. I did have white vinegar in this order, but it was out of stock, so they didn't fill it. Um, I picked up a little hair product, um, a growth serum, and then my favorite leave-in conditioner, mouthwash. And then this diffuser also has... I mean, this humidifier also has a diffuser. So Target has their um, essential oils 25% off. And I picked up a good night. I already have this one and I really love it. So I picked up another and then I picked up a peppermint oil as well. It is allergy season. If I'm going to be hanging out on the patio, I'm going to need some Flonase. Like, it's just a must. And then another must if I'm going to be hanging out on the patio is something to repel mosquitoes. We don't have mosquitoes today. It's actually a very horrible rainy day. And it's supposed to be that way all weekend. It's actually like 55 degrees outside today. But I picked up this mosquito repellent. I'll let you guys know what I think about it, but I think it's essential if you're in the South like I am in Texas and somewhere where it's really humid, it's really rainy, you're going to need something to repel mosquitoes and I heard that this thermocell was really great. So I picked up a thermocell, I have a humidifier, cool mist humidifier, I have an air purifier, 
Oh, I'm getting my quarantine quarters all together, you guys. I kid you not. I feel like when it's time to leave the house and they say, oh, it's clear, it's summer, you can go outside now. I'm going to be like, no thanks, because I just really enjoy hanging out on my patio and in my own home. So I'm kind of an introvert anyway, so I, I'm a homebody at times. So I just feel like I'm doing all of this and I'm not going to want to leave this place. Happy Sunday, you guys. The rug just came. It's 1 p.m. on Sunday. So I'm going to lay the rug out and um, put all the furniture on top. I got a notification that the base has started shipping. So it should be here tomorrow as well. In my building, they started um, stealing packages off the door. So as soon as I got the notica notification from Amazon, or from Bed Bath & Beyond that it had been delivered, I went and got it like straight away because I don't want anyone to take such a beautiful rug from that I paid for, you know? So I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna settle on a color scheme and then I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. guys here is the big after it looks so good so as you can see the rug is already down I kept this mat here but I may lift it up this comes courtesy of my apartment complex so I just always had it at the back door but I don't really think I need it anymore it's there anyway fire pit is still there look how great this rug looks I love it. So, I wanted it to feel like a living room, just outdoors. So, you have to have a rug. That ups the comfort. So, got this rug from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on sale, so I'll link it below. Um, you guys already know about the patio furniture. But, I, I switched the pillows because these pillows were on Prince Mighty's sofa yes he has his own sofa that was on prince mighty sofa and i thought it went really well with the rug better than the lime green pillow that i had before and it has little dark navy specks in it you can see so i think it really goes well with you know the navy in the cushion from the chair um, kept the yellow just because I like the pop and I do have the orange so the summery colors still pop with the yellow and the orange in the rug I switched the vase from the lime green to the gold which I showed you that may have been an option yesterday and I definitely decided to go with that and kept the wicker and stems that were in there and the leaves that were in there. I think it really adds like a rustic outdoor vibe and makes it feel more like an outdoor living space. Then with the table, I did add some more um, decorative items. I had these candles that I really never burn in my bedroom, like really high on the shelf, just needless decor and I thought they added so well with the color schemes in the rug. Do you guys see they are the exact colors 
in this rug. I just could not love it anymore. And then I added the navy here with some navy flutes that I have, navy stemmed flutes, and then the gold glasses that I already had. Cheers and clink. And then I kept the same speaker, but I added two coasters and they are navy and white marble the, I mean granite um, they used to match the granite countertops that were in my home and my mother bought them so I love them and then I did add my throw my graduation throw here and I thought it looks really good with the same matching pillow from Prince Mighty Sofa so this is the afterwards and I really, really love it. I'm proud of me. Let me know your thoughts on my new quarantine outdoor space. I am really going to enjoy this. And when it gets really hot, I'm just going to bring a fan, plug it up indoors, bring it out here, and enjoy this space with a fan. That's all I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to use it. I hope you guys are having a blessed day and enjoying your time, making the most of your time as well, because we will never get this time to reset. And I'm glad that I spent this time wisely to redo my patio. Bye, guys. Be blessed.